Well, well welcome, welcome to Simply Orange. Simply Orange. And uh, my co-host right now is a bit under the weather. Yeah, I'm losing my voice. So if he loses his voice, kind of end up in the midst <laughs> of oh, oh, <laughs> Sorry about that. If he loses his voice, you know, we do apologize. But my name is Preston. This is uh, Brandon, Brandon. And he is our worship leader. And yes. A fantastic one. Thanks. Fantastic you're one. A, you're a great camp professor. But hey, we do, we, do, we do want to inform you of some of the things coming up in one of the things that we love about this Simply Orange is that we're increasing our production value. Yeah, increasing the production value. It, it's going from like, what, like a two? It's going from, yeah, like, like, a, like a we're just going to like walk around with our phones for a little bit to now we have a set with obviously well thought out lower thirds. All kinds well, of I mean, yeah, and like, I mean, I think we're just trying to take the worship experience on Sunday and we're trying to apply it to your way. Yeah, for Simply Orange. And so again, we're broadcasting from the hut today. We love that you are here with us. And a couple things that we want to hit right from the get-go. Number one, this upcoming Sunday are the intern's last day. Or it is oh. the intern's last yeah, day. Yeah, it is. They've been here for 10 weeks. Yeah. Seven. We love our interns so much. They have been so great. Sad. So we have Tiff, Honey. That's a point. <laughs> but we call her Tiff. She's in E Kids, and so make sure all E Kids uh, volunteers just w- wish her a, a happy, happy last day. Yeah, and John. Kind of, yep, that's a uh, guest experience. Yeah, guest experience. We and love then, John. Justin. 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 I don't know why, but it feels like he's into metal. Yeah, it felt, you know, so he's <laughs> felt one right. of our, our youth. Fun uh, fact, he's not into metal at all. He likes like Americana and like banjo stuff. Alright, we're not. Okay. Well, okay. awesome. yeah. yeah. So it's interns last day, make sure you wish them a happy <laughs> last day. Uh, meet and greet was this past weekend. It was and, awesome. And uh, meet and greet was awesome. I we had it. about 120 people come out to mm-hmm. it and just hear about the church's history and vision. And uh, a lot of them got signed up to serve or get into an e-group. And so we're going to be doing that every few weeks just so we make sure that anyone who comes to our church can actually find a place at our church that they can call the church home. Right. So meet and greets what was all awesome. May 6th. What's happening on May 6th? May 6th. Very good. <laughs> baptism. See that? May 6th. You want to know baptism? You want to know why we have lower thirds? <laughs> it's just in case we forget about what's actually happening. Yep. May 6th is our next baptism. We're going to be point to point, and we want to encourage you, if you have not gotten baptized, to take that step to go public yes. with your faith. You can email matt.bush at elevationchurch.com. Four. Yeah, I made that one up on the spot, but it seems like he knows what's going on. Matt, is that right? That's right. That's, that's right. right. That's great. Not to mention that, uh, you know, Matt oversees, uh, he's an associate campus pastor, he's our outreach director. Fun fact, he's also our Simply Orange motion graphic. Editor. He is. So if, you, if you're, if you like, really enjoying these graphics, go ahead and send Matt Bush a text. Yeah, send him a text it. right now. Right. Lastly, uh, May 20th is our next Rhythm Night. Mm. Uh, because of the recent weather. Tornadoes, am I right? Tornadoes everywhere. Uh, me in Greensboro, they actually... It was awesome. They actually said in Greensboro there was an F2 tornado. F2 tornado is a decent sized tornado. F2 is, it's actually an EF. Is. It's not made by the wind speed. It's actually made by the amount of damage created by said tornado. I love our producers. Can we give a shout out to our producers? We have uh, Doc, uh, and we also have uh, Chef, and Shepard. And we have uh, Matthew Drew. Would you consider Matthew Drew a producer right now or more of a vagabond? Matthew Drew is kind of the uh, the guy that's trying to throw us off. Ah, it is. But a, we ain't letting it happen. No, because we are focused, talented co hosts. One of the things that we wanted to do is let you know that we have a new addition uh, to our campus. We have Sam Fishy Fish Fisher. Sam Fishy and, Fish uh, Fisher. Uh, Sam, okay. come oh, on in here. Okay. So, so Sam is yes. uh, uh, our 2K2 for the next how long, Sam? Uh, Ten weeks. Ten weeks, and uh, he is going to be helping with worship and Can production. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what we thought would be fun and be helpful for you, and, and I, I think it would actually be just helpful for you to maybe right. just kind of talk about our church's history and vision yeah. uh, through the way of trivia. Yes, certainly. So, see how well you know the history of our church. Are you ready? Question number one, Sam. Uh, and there is a, just, there's a slight consequence if you get this wrong. Okay. okay. Uh, you, got, you got five sit-ups. Uh, question number one, what book did Pastor Stephen read at 16 years old where God spoke to him about launching a mega church in a city to reach people far from God? I love this book. Fresh wind, fire, fresh fire, fresh wind, 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 wind comma, okay. uh, fresh, wind. Wind. fresh wind, comma, fresh fire. Hey! hey! Good, Sam. Fresh Wind, Fresh Fire by Jim Cimbala. 
page yeah. 23, uh, God spoke to the pastor about launching a church that now we call Elevation Church. Yeah. So, check well it out. Done. Yes. Well done. Number two. Number two is, how many families moved with Pastor and Holly to start Elevation Church? What is eight families? Yeah. If you include Pastor, Pastor Stephen right, right, right. Seven other families. Okay, exactly. very good. Yes. Yes. Pastor Stephen and Holly, seven other families moved from Shelby, North Carolina to Charlotte to launch Elevation Church. But what is the mission mm. of our church? See what God can do through you. Uh, sit up. Start. Okay. <laughs> Just go ahead and do your sit ups. Uh, the mission of our church is so that people far from God will be raised to life in Christ. Thanks, Sam. That was very close. But you might get the next question right. What is the vision of our church? See what God can do through you. That's hey. right. That's right. That is right. What is the launch day of Elevation Church? 2506. What date is that? February 5th. February 5th. I kind of had a quick debate about this earlier. How many people were in attendance on that day? You guys can say that? Uh, yeah, I guess so. 23. Yeah, I kind of think you. 23. Page 23 is a thing. <laughs> yes. Maybe we had a little bit more than 23 people. 123. That's pretty close. Yeah, I'm sure that somebody had a baby. It's 121. Is that right, Nicholas? Oh, wow. 123. It's a really high 98 adults, 23 kids. Yeah, it's 121. Well, as you can see, it's not only Sam it's who's getting educated, it's all of us that are getting 121. educated in the history of our church. More people in our meet and greet this past weekend than mm. we're at church mm. 12 years crazy. crazy. Now, this crazy. would be fun. Uh, when did Elevation wow. Raleigh launch? That's a really great question. Yeah, it is. Four years ago. Do you have a date? Just shoot one out. July 21st, 2014. Next question. What <laughs> venue did we launch our campus in? Daniels Middle School. Actually, go ahead and get 10. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Question. How many people were there at Daniels Middle School? I was there. I was there. Mm -hmm. You had to work for it. We have two more questions. Two more questions. Okay. Do you feel like you're getting educated with the history? <clears throat> I hope so. Questions. When did we launch Elevation Morrisville? September of 2017. September 7th, 8th. 17th. Matthew, Third. Matthew Drew, what was the date? September 10th. September, September 10th. 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 820. 820. Wow. Wow. Two people. God is on the move. We now have how many campuses in the RDU? Oh, two. They Wrong. Agree. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> With but more on the way. Okay, this is who's your favorite staff member in the RDU? And why? Preston Stack. Yes. It's good. It's clean. I'm that too. The, the, does it take you off a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully you learn just a little bit more about our church. But we love you. Thank you for watching Simply Orange. And let us know. What, like, let us know if you like the production value of this Simply mm -hmm. Orange. And we hope that you have a great rest of the week. We can't wait to see you this upcoming Sunday. And again, what is the vision of our church? So that people far from Christ would be raised. Oh. Far from God would be raised alive through Christ. Oh wow. See, See what, what God, God can, can do to you. Yeah, and yeah, these are yeah, amazing yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. See what God can do to you. Feel free to wow, educate wow. Sam on Sunday. Let him know. Wow. Wow. He will be here on stage. Yeah, he's here. Hey, just go up to him. Just go up to him. In the middle of him leading worship. See what God can do through you, See bro. See what God can do through you. Absolutely. But hey, we love you. We'll see you on this Sunday.